Hi, welcome back. This video is going to be my overview of uh, Overland Expo West 2024. I love this snow-capped mountain view. So the weather was great this year and uh, plenty to see. It was a good time. Start right out with this sweet uh, Ranger Raptor that was on um, portals even. So pretty nice truck. Not many of uh, those out yet. Uh, the new uh, Land Cruiser looks pretty good. There's a lot of different things to see here. This, these guys have been around a while. It's kind of an interesting idea. This blazer with a four-wheel camper on it is always pretty sweet. This is a new one with a double wedge. It's a slide-in camper. This wild top is a little bit different. It's kind of a soft topper that goes over a uh, bed rack and uh, kind of seals you off pretty well, so it's kind of interesting. Of course, there's a lot of the sellers that uh, carry all kinds of different things, um, more like a shop. I thought this is a pretty sweet looking uh, Gladiator on some pretty big tires. When I first saw this, I thought it was Dan Grex, uh, but it didn't have the graphics on it, but it turned out it's the sister uh, vehicle, the, the guy that was making it with him. It's a pretty sweet setup. I kind of like how he did his diesel heater uh, uh, port. I always like the size and the windows on the straight pop-up of the tune. This is a pretty sweet uh, 80 series in really good shape. So one of the big themes at this uh, expo was the Ineos Grenadiers. There had to be at least 15 of them around there. They were uh, probably like three quarters of the production they've ever made with it. But they, uh, they look good. Plenty of the monster overlanders there. The caught my eye on this one was that uh, motorcycle ramp. These Colorado AT4Xs look pretty capable and I really like this red one. The Sea Sucker Company was back again and they have more and more uh, accessories than ever. It's amazing how much they've got now to, to um, suction onto your vehicle. This is pretty cool. They have er they have everything, toilet paper holders even. I thought this was a pretty good Bronco setup. I think there were about eight uh, pop top uh, pickup uh, shell camper uh, companies at the site. This is the Oru one, they've got a lot of options. This year I was helping out at the Lone Peak booth um, and uh, I'll probably do a lot of uh, content on that here coming up. Now you cab's kind of the top of the line of the uh, pop top campers and they had a new model to show. It's kind of interesting, a little bit different. This Ineos had a roof chop with a, a built-in camper then. It's pretty sweet. This old Mercedes caught my eye. It's pretty cool. Uh, well done. You usually don't see a lot of full-size uh, Chevy and GM overlanders, but this one really caught my eye. It's pretty well done. Of course, there's got to be a couple of uh, the new, new kid on the blocks there. The Cybertruck certainly is polarizing. Uh, most people hate it, but I like the fact that it's something different. Some more of the Ineos there using a BMW powertrain on this. I've shown this Scout before, but it sure is a sweet truck. All right, hey, Jesse here with Summit 4x4. Uh, what we've got here is the Morflate Air Hub. Right, so what you can do on this here is if, when you guys are ready to deflate, you can set your PSI, hit go, again, set, forget, and then same thing for inflate. You guys can go ahead and set the, the desired PSI, pump it up, and then if you guys already have the existing four hose kit, uh, they do come with an adapter to be able to utilize that, so it'll connect with your new air hub. And if you don't have more flight, you could use this with other other um, uh, and, and, uh, Absolutely. compressors, yeah. etc. Yep. Yeah, they've, they've got different uh, extension hoses that allow you to work with an ARV twin. Uh, we just demoed it with a power tank here, so great products, highly recommend them. Thank you. you bet. This Cybertruck was here because this company was selling the Cyber Trailer, a uh, solar and electric uh, camping setup. Not much Mavericks this year, but the Packout guys had their uh, pop top uh, wedge on it. That's pretty sweet. It's well done, guys. Overlanding typically gets you near a lake, and uh, these packable rafts are always pretty sweet. I like the idea. Again, I think I showed this last year, but I always thought this was a pretty sweet uh, Gladiator setup. The Ineos has a pickup version as well. 
the uh, Kakadu guys were back again this year with their products. I like their uh, propane water heater. Uh, I think they were even the sponsor for uh, providing showers in their campground areas as well this year. So uh, they do a nice job. The rooftop tents, I always thought these Intrepids are pretty sweet, uh, giving you kind of a modified wedge. This is one of the better decked out pop top campers I've seen as well. I carry a bottle jack, but I think this type of a uh, top and uh, extension tubes is pretty necessary. I like this. Sometimes you just want to stand out. This thing was visible for miles. Another pretty sweet Bronco um, configuration here. I liked it a lot. Anti Shanty was there with their hard shell uh, pop top camper. This is a pretty interesting rooftop tent hybrid. It was kind of like a fold over with that with a hard shell and it had a, had a cap on the hinge area. More and more propane fire pits, uh, pretty necessary with all the fire bands, but this one had a little bit different scenario to it, just being a tower of fire. I like the LED Lenser products, they were uh, higher end um, uh, flashlights and headlamps than what you get from the Chinese stuff. Cred Cred was there with uh, stickers and patches so you can show where you've been and what you've done. I like this flated company. It's got like stand-up uh, paddleboard material that makes a hard, uh, sort of a hard shell topper, but soft. And but yeah, it'll go down so you can pack it away and put it in your garage a lot easier. They even make like chairs and other things as well. Pretty sweet setup, kind of cool stuff, different. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you on the trail.